And good evening. Thanks for joining us. Topping the news tonight, the trend of anti-Semitic acts in the country continues. A Jewish center in Wisconsin is dealing with its third threat in a month. The Jewish Community Center in Whitefish Bay was forced to close this morning after a threat was emailed in. It happened just before 8 a.m. The center reopened about an hour later. And for a local woman, recent acts of anti-Semitism have hit too close to home. Our Leah Linscheid has more only on News 3. Kathy Utley grew up in a split household with a Catholic mother and a Jewish father. She has her own connections to the latest threats and vandalism against the Jewish community, a trend she calls disturbing. He was very proud uh, of his Jewish heritage. Growing up, Kathy Utley constantly heard memories from her father of their family's Jewish culture and the persecution they fled when first arriving in the U.S. I remember him saying, if, you know, if we forget, we'll repeat history. History will repeat itself. Part of her own memories include visiting her grandparents' gravestones at a Jewish cemetery in St. Louis, the same one vandalized just weeks ago. It brought back memories. We would always go visit the cemetery, we would visit his parents. Not only was it personal, but it was also, it may be shocking in a way that here we are again. Here, here's these people who came here to this country to escape persecution. Her grandparents' graves were thankfully not damaged, but it's with that same shock and surprise that Kathy took news of a Jewish center outside Milwaukee shut down due to threats today. It's the third threat sent to the Jewish Community Center in Whitefish Bay in just the past month and part of a trend seen across the country. CNN reports nearly 100 incidents took place in just the first two months of 2017. Each of these incidents while frustrating and very disappointing, calls us to review our operations and our response. If my father knew, and if any of these people knew. Kathy says this latest in a series of anti-Semitic events has her concerned she'll see for herself some of those memories her ancestors had to live through. I, I just, <clears throat> I can't believe we're, we're back here again. Leah Linscheid reporting tonight for us. Governor Walker is scheduled to tour the community center in Milwaukee that closed today as a result of those threats.